Happy now. All is now. It's a gift to be in the present. The fresh say, sign it back in. You're putting out more perspective into the cloud of the collective to expand the collective consciousness. You're not tuning into the mind of an allergy, the moon slash out uh, Aries moon. And it is moon day. It is also cancer hours as I make this video. This is going to be moon and Aries, sun and Pisces. So moon is in Aries after you know we just had this new moon in pisces so basically we're coming to after you gain this new realizations and new ways on how to react and respond and or you know new insights regarding where you had Pisces at in your chart when the moon comes into Aries okay so the moon has done a full cycle type shit so it's like and now it's back you know to the first sign you know so it's basically to initiate okay so initiate what initiate like or act to act out so react and respond in an initiative type of way okay towards your dreams or your subconscious because the sun is still in pisces okay and the sun being in pisces is 20 21st 21 degrees 35 minutes Okay, and as I make this video, yeah, moon is 10 degrees, three minutes, so, yeah, and also, Mercury, Mercury shifted into Aries, okay, so you should take note of that, so we also, so what's going on now is there is one, two, three, four, five, I mean, four planets in Aries. Okay, so there's a stellium in Aries, stellium in Pisces, and damn near a stellium in Aquarius. Okay. So... Yeah, so that's basically what's going on. And with this, with Mercury going into Aries, you know, this makes a uh, communication. This makes communication a lot more straightforward and blunt. Okay, so it's uh, a time that. People aren't necessarily, you know, this is more, this is more subjective communication, but more from, uh, the, the external v part. Okay. So the, the, the yang of the right brain. Okay. Fire, which water being the yin of the right brain, which would be. Uh, when Mercury was in Pisces. Okay, so now Mercury is in Aries. You know, this is to... Mercury has this Martian influence to it where it makes our communication a lot more, you know, straight to the point, more, uh, let's say, assertive with communication. People, people feel like they, whatever is in their mind, they wanna get it out as fast as they could type shit, you know? So, and also thoughts could be coming in a lot more faster than they usually would, okay? So, and it's just the expression, okay? So just feeling the need to want to express, okay? So 
sun moon is uh conjuncting mercury okay so that's what i'm breaking down right now so moon conjuncting mercury this is the need to want to express whatever is in the emotion okay the the stargates the opportunities okay to express whatever is in your emotions okay and relate that not relate but uh communicate that okay i mean so, moon is is uh, conjunct is is sextiling. Moon is sextiling Venus in Aquarius. Okay, Venus is twenty nine degrees Aquarius, so it's cussing cussing Pisces. Okay, so with this. Just the opportunity, yeah, the opportunity, 60 degree angle to react and respond towards what we love and relate to and what we're willing to compromise with. Okay. So with, with Venus being Aquarius, Cusp, and Pisces, this is the, the, what's it called? The influences is 29 degrees so you receive influences from the previous sign okay but you also receive influences from the sign after so with this venus is exalted in pisces okay so whenever venus goes into pisces it's the energy plays out where collectively our what we love and this this the chakra the chakra that we use for love you know is sort of stimulated in a more is more stimulated and is more we're more concentrated on that chakra you know so which in this case is venus so it's dealing with love and heart chakra of course so when venus goes into pisces yeah like i said that's where it's exalted at okay so we'll feel the need to want to you have the opportunities to overindulge in your love matters or whatever the people places and things that you love or you just have yeah there's gonna be an abundance of that okay so the things that you love you're gonna be sitting in the abundance of that, but right now where it's like, where Venus is in Aquarius, 29 degrees before it goes into Pisces, with Venus having this Aquarius uh, influence right now, or the, what we've been experiencing when Venus was in Aquarius was more of let's say things that we love or gaining some sort of let's say <clears throat> we were gaining this uh uh association a com or community or was communicating about these things you know and then or gaining like let's say willing to compromise with certain group of individuals that suits your same vibration, okay? And yeah, that's basically what Venus is like. So like, well, Aquarius, Aquarius has that Saturn influence which makes it strict, you know? So it was detaching to a certain extent, okay? Detaching so you could ultimately you know, find out or, yeah, find out, fish out what wasn't you and what was you, okay? And then when Moon gets into Pisces, you would have this belief or, yeah, strong belief about your love matters and what, what really is you, what you love. You know what you don't love it'll be a 
you have a strong belief about that, okay? So, with, we also have Moon, Sex Talent, Mars, and Aquarius, okay? Moon, Sex, Talent, Mars, and Aquarius. This is the 60 degree angle. So opportunities to react and respond towards our passions. Okay, so this is having the opportunities to react and respond, okay, in a cardinal assertive way you know in a martian type way head first towards an action you know and that action is filtered out through aquarius which is dealing with uh you know this astrology this far out thinking science technology um yeah, things like this. And this is what the passions is filtered out towards. So this is the opportunities to react and respond towards these things. Okay. We also have Moon, Sextile, Pluto. Okay, Pluto. Moon, Sextile, Pluto, and Aquarius. Okay. This is the opportunities to react and respond towards taking power and control over your associations, okay? Uh, we also have moon. Okay, so moon conjunct north node. And Moon conjunct Black Moon Lilith. Not Black Moon Lilith, but Chiron. Moon conjunct North Node and Moon conjunct Chiron. So this is the opportunities, the stargates, the however you feel about your spiritual path, you know, you will be, this is how you will see it through your actions, you know, and how, how you, how, this is the stargates, all the good, the good and the bad alignments playing here with the conjunction. Okay, so it just depends on the seeds you've been watering regarding your, and the actions you've been taking regarding your, what's it called, spiritual path. Okay, so this is the opportunities to react and respond towards your spiritual path, the gifts towards your spiritual path. So it's like, yeah, so, and this is dealing with Aries. So the spiritual path being in Aries and the moon being in Aries, it's like whatever you whatever you go for head first and what brings passion in your life, you know, is where, you know, you will see your purpose lies, okay? Wherever you have passion for, okay? So moon conjunct Chiron in Aries. This is how how learning learn could be learning. Okay. Could be learning how to feel about making a mistake. Learning how to feel about making a mistake regarding your passions or whatever brings you uh whenever you what what to heal within the self learning how to what to heal within the self okay or it could be the gift to heal the self you know or the gift to make a mistake you know or yeah this is this is the conjunction when it comes to Chiron, okay, so like Chiron deals with this is the wounded healer or the or what what whatever you want it like whatever whenever you make a mistake 
however you feel, when it, how to feel about making mistakes. And ultimately, whenever you make a mistake, you can find out what to learn. Like you can find learning processes when you make a mistake, or you could you could find out what to heal, like a wounded oh if you a, a wounded healer, okay? You know, so and it's like the best healers heal themselves, okay? The best healers know how to heal themselves. All right. So that's how that's playing out with Moon conjunct Chiron. That's the quote you should take with that. The best healers heal themselves. All right. So next. Okay. So Mercury. We have Mercury. Mercury, uh, sextiling Venus. Mercury sextiling Venus. This is the opportunity, 60 degree angles. 60 degree angle to, okay, so opportunities to communicate towards the opportunities to communicate in a Martian type way in a in a to opportunities to express right to communicate in an expressive type way towards what we love and value okay so the opportunities to value to value what what's on our mind okay okay so like could be the opportunity to commit with Venus with this uh sex style, opportunity to communicate to communicate like with a female or a feminine energy okay so that's how that's playing out or like it's like with Venus being in Pisces, okay, I'm not Pisces, but Aquarius, set cusp in Pisces, okay, we naturally want to sort of, like I said, we, we got this influence to want to be, uh, like, exalted, okay, or feeling like, yeah, we should go for what we, what we, what brings us pleasure. Or we should go for that relationship, you know. But you got Aquarius in the back end saying, hold on. You still need to associate more. You still need to communicate more. You still need to, yeah, uh, build this, let's say, make this association, like I said. So... It's not fully in Pisces yet, so it's like it's in limbo. We have this two different sides to it. So with Mercury sex telling that it makes us one to because what's on our mind is you know we only what's on our mind is what's what's is what's filtered out through our desires and what brings us passion you know so anyways if there's no passion let's say with that relationship for that person place or thing you know it's not you're not gonna want to jump into it type shit that's how you know with the opportunity Okay, so Moon, Mercury, sextiling Mars in Aquarius. Mercury, sextiling Mars in Aquarius. This is the opportunities to 
react and respond towards our passions and communicate. So it's to communicate about our passion, to com the opportunities to communicate and go head first into our passion, which filter out through Aquarius, okay? In that third deacon, okay? So like the opportunities to to let's say have that with the frequencies and the vibrations that's in our minds that 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 we that we gain from from our mind type shit we want to like filter that make that make that uh let's say have a passion let's say opportunities to communicate about the passions which is further out to through Aquarius the passions further out to Aquarius which is dealing with like rebelling okay could be rebelling okay could be like all this uh sex all this uh what's it called technology uh astrology you know new age anything new age technology Okay, like I said, so we want to, with our minds and our passion, okay, so with our, our, uh, with our throat chakra, okay, not mind, throat chakra, and Mars root chakra, okay, communicate about our passions, whatever brings us passion, you know? So, and this is like, with Mercury being in Aries and Mars being in Aquarius, it's like, it, it makes Mercury, which is naturally wants to be in an air sign in a fire sign and Mars, which naturally wants to be in a fire sign in an air sign. Okay, so it's like, but it's still like a sextile, you know? So with this, it's like the opportunities to bring passions. So it's to, this is, this would be a good time to like, whatever's on your mind, like to put it on a track or to write it down, you know, or to just express it. You know, this would be a good time to rant if if you're into that type of shit. If you want to rant, this would be a good time to do that shit, you know? So, uh, Mercury is also... Mercury is in making a 150 degree angle to Black Moon Lilith, making it in conjunction. Okay, so this is yeah, 150 degrees making it in conjunction misunderstanding. So we might be misunderstanding what to communicate about and towards uh, let's say misunderstanding making being embarrassed about your communication or black moon lilith and with and with the moon misunderstanding black moon lilith this is yeah actually misunderstanding what to what to be embarrassed about and north node this is, let's say, misunderstanding, like, being naked, like, being naked in, with your spirituality and the opportunities to be embarrassed there, you know? In Chiron, this is the, the, 
being embarrassed about a wounded heel or, or, or a, a wound that needs to be healed type shit. Okay? So, uh, did I do Mo's Mercury Sextile Pluto? Mercury Sextile Pluto. This is the opportunities to take power and control over what we uh, communicate about. Take power and control over uh, our communication and our penmanship. And yeah, how we process thoughts type shit. Okay. So, we also have, what else do we have? Yeah, that's going to be it. That's all the alignments as far as the moon cycle. So, yeah, first say signing out. Catch you next time.